Hey, welcome to another episode of Disney Dust. I'm very excited to talk about the new and latest Star Wars, the Ecolite series, which uh, just ended on Disney Plus, and it looks like there is a cliffhanger. I did not expect that. In fact, a lot of this was unexpected. I thought the series was going to be just another series that you know we were going to forget. But uh, before we get into spoilers, and I will tell you about it when it comes up. I just want to say that uh, this was quite nicely um, an isolated sort of a, a series, just like WandaVision was, which is why I enjoyed it so much, because you can get into it without having to know any of the Star Wars backstory. And this was a very also nice play between the, the light and dark side, which is, you know, an ongoing theme in Star Wars. Um, but it happens to be between two twin sisters, uh, you know, and uh, which makes it more meaningful because of their relationship and also surrounded by the mystery of their existence and the political drama of the people involved around them. And it's also very intriguing because it's, 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 it unfolds very, very slowly. Um, the, the creator, the showrunner of this series said that Breaking Bad was a series that inspired her a lot. So let's delve into some things. No spoilers just yet. They got Squid Game's actor uh, to, to come in uh, to play one of the Jedi's, uh, Master Soul. Also, Carrie Ann Moss from The Matrix fame is there. A little bit star-studded. I did feel that the move to get uh, the actor from Squid Games was a bit, bit of a publicity stunt. I mean, he's a great actor, but I always feel, this is on a side note, that as an actor, uh, when you are acting in a language that you're not so comfortable with, and it seems so for him, um, not sure though, but it, it did come across a little bit stilted in his English. And, uh, and generally, an actor loses a lot of his ability to have nuances uh, when speaking in a language that he kind of struggles with, right? Like the emphasis on certain words and the, the nuances is all, all taken away from you, from your toolbox. So, um, you know, and also the fact that he's using words like defer, it just doesn't feel natural coming out of him. Although, um, you know, very decent job. You, you, you know, a good actor can't can basically screw things up. Uh, but of course, it wasn't as nuanced as we would have liked it or, or probably that he could do just because it's in a different language. In any case, we're going into spoiler territory now. Uh, you know, uh, we, we do know that Carrie Ann Moss and Master Soul and uh, they're, they're no longer part of the storyline if it moves on to season two. Um, very exciting, though, because the ongoing drama between the two sisters flipping between light and dark. Oh, so intense and so, you know, so much um, motivation behind all of, of this this play. Um, so, yeah, and also we, we see now, though, it's not so isolated because at the end of season one, we see Yoda appear. And there are, of course, still more mysteries that are unresolved. Um, there's also the nice theme of Jedi and Padawan you know, um, uh, going through the, the whole the whole show, like, in fact, you know, like about apprentices. So that was also very nicely put together. Uh, it's still formula, but, it, you know, it's a refreshing story. What did you think of the Ecolyte and which you want season two? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you like my, my reviews or the way I review things, follow, subscribe, you know, give this a thumbs up and share the video. And also see you in the next one. Bye.